All right, so my speedometer has stopped working and my engine coolant temperature gauge has stopped working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this diesel right here. And then I'm going to remove my speedometer or my uh, instrument cluster. And to do that, what I first got to do is drop the steering wheel all the way down, then put the key in, put the safety brake on, and I'm going to drop the gear shifter all the way down. So what I've got to do is remove this. And I'm going to pick up on this slightly so I can get my fingers up underneath the plastic. And this just pulls loose like this. So I've got four bolts I've got to remove right there, there. To get this thing out, the shifter has to be down. So what I'm going to do, and the key has to be on. Now there's an electronic plug in the back that I'm, I'm going to have to remove. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the shifter down, get the instrument cluster out, put it in park, turn the key off before I remove that plug, just so I don't uh, disturb anything electrically. What I'm using is a 7 millimeter socket. Um, 9 30 seconds will also fit, but the 7 millimeter felt just a, a tad tighter. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen these bolts. And then once I get them loose, I'm going to remove them by hand. So I think I can get them out faster. Or not by hand, but I'm going to remove them without the aid of the, of the ratchet. And honestly, it doesn't feel like I even needed the ratchet to take them out. Fine, we'll just leave it in there, no big deal. And there's the plug right there. So now, turn the car off. Remove the plug. Console is out. Now we'll go inside, uh, remove this back, and replace the. Okay, got six gauges. We'll turn it over so it kind of banks up toward me like this. And I've got six stepper motors. That's what they're called which I've ordered on Amazon for $14.99 West shipping. Um, and this beats the $190 you paid for a reman version at uh, one of the auto parts stores. If you can even find it in stock, it also beats the $190 that you send it to a company and have them rebuild it. And it also beats the anywhere between $450 to $650 that I've heard quoted for having a dealer rebuild this. Not quite sure what I'm gonna find, so what I've got is a small Phillips, a small standard. I'm gonna break it up and see what I find.
All right, one of the ways that it looks like you can test this is if you listen to this. That one's very smooth. These are very smooth. But the ones I have problems with, listen. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's very tight, as is this one. Very loud clicking noise. So those are the ones, I, we're actually going to replace all of them, but those are the ones I'm having problems with. So I feel confident now that I made the right decision in replacing the stepper motors. 